my Tyros. I'm going to add to my verbal brazo and thank you for your patience as I've not posted in a few weeks. Right now it's final season at the college where I go to and I'm proud to announce I got a 92% on my pastry arts practical yesterday. Today we're going to talk about arches. Right now I stand underneath the Methodist Episcopal Church arch. This is a 150 plus year old Civil War era church that was moved to this location brick by brick, the tens of tons of it, many decades ago to make room for the widening Woodward Avenue here in Detroit. Arches are a wonderful thing, both made by man and made by God in nature, and they just add interest and artistry to, to wherever you find them in the world. Today we're going to look at a few and show you how to take the best pictures of arches. When taking your arch photos, be sure to use a wide angle lens so you can fit the entire arch in the frame. This is sort of obvious advice, but it's helpful nonetheless to hear. From time immemorial, arches have appeared in nature and have subsequently inspired many of mankind's most wonderful masterpieces, architecturally speaking, such as the Gateway Arch in St. Louis, the Arc de Triomphe in Paris, and the India Gate in New Delhi. Today's arch photography will be done using wide-angle lenses. I'm just laughing because I just rang that bell and I got in trouble but I, I was given permission by a park official and then another park official told me no so I don't know who to listen to either way I am just I am just hyped up right now so focus you know Sean Claude Van Damme right now we find a tree in nature I'm sorry an arch in nature this tree bow is a natural arch and also I might add a natural frame for your subject, which in this case is me. Now even rarer than finding an arch in nature is finding an arch made by man right next to an arch made from nature. And right here we have this bell that I just rang and it's just two arches that suspend sort of a, a bell. It's modern art, not really meant to be understood, but just like as in this nature arch we were just under, if you put your subject, which is myself, underneath this man-made arch, the arch serves as a natural frame for the subject and sort of traps the eyes, makes them captive to what is framed in the photo. So whether nature provides the arch or man provides the arch, use an arch as a natural frame for the subject of your photo. Arches don't always meet at the top in sort of an end shape. Sometimes you might find an arch that you might call upside down, a U-shape, or even sideways, a sort of a C-shape. And, and here we have a sort of a sideways arch in this tree planter. It's a nice shot to take. You, you put your camera up to it, you just shoot down it, and you just see this wonderful arch just kind of continues. But what would make this picture better? In photography, the repetition of a shape is just a naturally curious thing to look at. And we happen to have the same tree planter happening again and again, occurring repetitiously down this street. Now, if you line up your camera just as before and shoot down this tree planter and get all the other ones in the shot, it just turns the picture from something usual that you see all the time to downright mesmerizing. So, if you should find yourself with a repeating arch, sort of a proportional pattern that happens again and again, Take advantage of it, shoot the pattern lining up with one another, and you'll have yourself a wonderful picture. When photographing arches and architecture, make sure that your composition is both unique and interesting. So depending on the type of architecture you find, such as the traditional arch behind us, you should tailor it to what you see. So for a traditional arch, make sure that the composition is simplistic in its perspective. On the other hand, if you find yourself with a more modern designed arch, architecturally speaking, 
make sure that your composition is in the abstract sense. A little bit forward thinking for the forward thinking design that the arch has taken. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my YouTube channel to never miss a Ryan Ellis photography update. Want even more? Well, support me on Patreon to become a premium member.